Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be all about the new products from Tarte. So over the last month and a half or so, Tarte has been launching a ton of new products. I was able to get my hands on them. Some of them I've been playing with for a while and a few of the new products I've never tested before until today. So we're gonna get into it. Lots of good stuff from Tarte. So we're gonna be talking about the new Sculpt Tape. I've had this for a while now, I would say maybe a month or so. So I've been playing around with it, comparing it to the Charlotte Tilbury contour wands. I have a lot to say about these. These retail for $35 and they come in five shades. So I picked up warm bronze and cool bronze. So those are the two shades that I will be featuring in today's video. So these are being described as contour like a pro with this all-in-one easy sculpting tool. So they're basically set up just like the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. They have the little sponge tip applicator on them just like the Charlotte Tilbury wand. Uh, yeah, and they're exactly the same size. So in each one of them, you get 12 milliliters worth of product. So they're very similar and very competitive with the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. So I will be trying them on, sharing my thoughts with you guys, and also doing tons of swatches and comparisons of these two shades next to other contour bronzer products that I have. So then we have these. I just received these a couple of days ago. This is the Glow Light Cheek and Lip Watercolor. Now these retail for $30 each and they come in three shades. I have Sun Crush, and Sun Rush. These are a water-based liquid lip and cheek for a beachy flush of color. It's a airy souffle-like texture that melts into the skin for a seamless finish, not chalky or streaky. Optical blurring pigments for a pretty diffused effect that won't accentuate pores, texture, or fine lines. And it's infused with up to 42% water to nourish, refresh, and instantly wake up your look. So that's the details on this product. I also have these glow lights. So these I've had in my collection for a minute. These are the glow light skin filters. These retail for $30 and they come in six different shades. So I have the shade Illuminate and Radiant. So those are the two shades that I'll be featuring in today's video. It says, fake a gym sesh afterglow without breaking a sweat. Multi-use glow filter blurs, brightens, and boosts hydration. Leaves the skin with a dewy glow, no shimmer or sparkle. Ultra fine powders that help blur the look of fine lines. Porcelain flower reflects and adds light to brighten. Glossy oil and hyaluronic acid delivers a surge of moisture for a smoother, plumper looking complexion. Wear alone, under, or mix with your foundation on the high points of the face for a next level glow with a soft focus effect. That's the deets on this. Of course, I will be giving you guys my thoughts on these and how this compares to the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter along with the new Halo Glow from e.l.f., which is a new formula that I have recently fallen in love with from e.l.f. And then finally, we have the Glow Bar. So this is new from Tarte. This retails for $49 and it only comes in one color combination, which is this one. So it says, best-selling glow powder formula, AKA powder of youth, in one palette to smooth, sculpt, and glow. The Amazonian clay diamond complex reflects light to neutralize skin discoloration, dullness, and darkness for a lit from within glow without glitter. Cream-like powders blend for a soft focus blurred finish and smooth velvet glow. Three universal shades. It comes in champagne blur that is to smooth and soften the skin. Bronze glow, which is used to sculpt and define. And sunlit to illuminate the high points of the face. So I will be trying on this palette, giving you guys my thoughts, and of course I will share my thoughts on how this compares to the ambient palettes from Hourglass. And of course sharing swatches of this palette next to Ambient Palette Volume 2 and also the original. Lots to talk about in today's video. It's all gonna be about all of the new products from Tarte. I've had some of these in my collection for a while, but I thought maybe it would be good just to throw them all into one in case you guys were interested in some of them or one of them or all of them or 
whatever. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into the application. I am going to apply each one of these on the face, giving you guys my thoughts along the way. Then we will get into the swatches and comparisons and I'm gonna compare all of these products next to other products that I have in my collection that are similar in texture, color, and the way that they apply. And then once we get through the swatches and comparisons, I will jump into my final thoughts. For shade reference, I am a medium with like a golden olive undertone. I will leave popular foundations out on the market and what shades I wear in those foundations so you guys can get an idea of my complexion so you can see how all of these products look on my complexion. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the application. We're gonna start with the Sculpt Tape. I've used these before. I've had these for a while. I would say it's probably been maybe a month now. I don't know. I'd have to look on my order when I ordered these because I ordered these on the QVC website. So I'm not exactly sure, but I wanna say it was right around the holidays time that I picked these up. So we're gonna start with these. It is very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. This is what they look like. And they're very similar. So this is cool bronze and this is warm bronze. Let me show you what it looks like next to the Charlotte Tilbury. Now I don't have the light to medium. I only have the medium to deep in the contour wand. So I apologize for that. This is the Charlotte Tilbury in medium to deep. This is the warm bronze and this is the cool bronze. So it's very similar to the cool bronze from Tarte. So on this side, let's go in with the cool bronze. It's very similar to Charlotte Tilbury's formula, the way that it kind of dries and sets down on the skin. This is my new favorite brush for contour. If you guys have been looking for a really good brush to apply this type of product or a cream bronzer or a cream contour or whatever, this is amazing. So this is the BK Beauty 109. They just started selling this in the single form. I will link it down in the description box. It's my absolute favorite. It's got the perfect density to kind of hug the skin and it blends out really well. I just love this brush, it's so good. I'm gonna go ahead and put on the warm bronze on this side. That one is more pigmented than the cool bronze. So that one has much more pigment. I just wiped off the brush so that I could blend that out. And if you get too much, just wipe off your brush. That will help to blend it out so that you don't have too much on. As you can see, the warm bronze is much more prominent than the cool bronze, right? And I really like that about these because the cool bronze is meant to do more of a contoured effect. You're not really supposed to see a lot of pigment when you contour. Contour is just meant to create the shadow, not really give you a lot of color, right? So because of that, it's much more muted and it's much more toned down, like a traditional contour product would be. The warm bronze, however, it's much more pigmented and definitely gives that warm bronze effect to the skin. I will be honest with you, the formula blends exactly the same as the Charlotte Tilbury. So if you're familiar with the Charlotte Tilbury, you already know how it blends. And I have, I've been using these two products for a while now and I've never had an issue where they haven't blended, they have faded, like they last just like the Charlotte Tilbury formula does. And hopefully they're easier to get than the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. Charlotte Tilbury contour wand is always sold out. So that's always been frustrating. But anyway, really great product. I don't have, I've been using it for at least a month now and I don't have anything negative to say. It's a great, great product. Let's move on to the two blushes. So these are brand new and I've never used them. I bought two shades. So I got Sun Crush and Sun Rush. This is a very moussey formula. So I'm kind of putting it here on the back of my hand and it's really quite moussey. What worries me about that is moussey formulas can go one or two ways. It can either be a complete disaster where it's too moussey or it can be really pretty. Mousse formulas, in my opinion, for blush can go both ways. So I'm a little bit nervous about this because it can get really patchy. Mousse products can get patchy, especially as you blend them out. And 
Oh, I don't know. I'm a little bit nervous about that because as I just blended it, the shades look pretty, but it does look a little bit patchy. It does. I am gonna go ahead and put on Sun Crush on this side. I like to use um, the Heavenly Luxe foundation brush from It Cosmetics. This is my favorite brush to apply products like these. I'm gonna go directly on the skin and blend it out. I'm just gonna start with that and see what it does. Okay. Oh no! What in the hell happened? Oh, so the stopper thing, I gotta fix that. The stopper is kind of stuck down inside there, so it's not taking off the product. Oh, dang it. Okay, so I heard it pop when I put it back into the thing. I heard it kind of do that little like suction pop. Okay, now I'm gonna take my foundation brush. That blended pretty good. I'm not seeing a lot of patchy marks. I mean, again, with that moussey texture, it's hit and miss, it really is. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Sun Rush and we're gonna put it on this side. I'm gonna kind of continue to build it up because it is a little bit patchy on this side. And I wanna see how it fills in. It's a little bit patchy, it is. That's why I was a little bit nervous about that moussey formula, just because of that. But it is a very natural kind of blush. So it doesn't look too bad. I mean, once I powder, I'm curious, cause I like to powder and kind of soften all the edges. So once I powder, I'm curious how this will look and if maybe I need to add a little bit more. Um, not bad, but I don't know that it's my favorite formula. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so I went ahead and put on a little bit of powder. We're gonna move on to these. Now I've had these for a while. I don't know when I had, I don't know when I got them, but I've had them for a while. So these are also the glow lights. This is a skin filter and I have it in two shades. I have radiant and I have illuminate. So let me show you guys what these look like. This is radiant and this is illuminate. And in my opinion, they're much more pigmented than the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Falls filter. They have more of a base to them as far as the shimmer goes. This is Charlotte Tilbury in shade 5.5. And see how this one from Charlotte Tilbury is a thinner formula and it kind of blends into the skin almost to the point where you don't really see it, but you see it. These two are much more prominent. I would say that they are more of a liquid highlighter versus a flawless filter kind of underneath to kind of give the you know, shine from within look. They're much more pigmented than the, Holly, than the Hollywood Falls filter. Now, how they compare to e.l.f. Now, in my opinion, e.l.f. Is, is more similar to the Hollywood Falls filter, where it just gives that shine from within. It doesn't have, but it has more coverage than the Charlotte Tilbury, but it's not as highlighty, if you will. It's not as shine, it doesn't have quite the shine that the two products from Tarte have. So I have worn these underneath foundation and they're not my favorite under foundation. I pretty much like them over top of the skin. I think they look a lot better. Underneath, they're just too much. They're just too shiny and they just don't really look all that flattering, especially over wrinkles, texture, pores, and all of that. Whereas the ones from Charlotte Tilbury and e.l.f., they're a little bit more forgiving in those areas because they don't have so much of that shimmer factor to them. I'm gonna go ahead and put the shade Radiant on this side and just blend it out with my finger. Now you can see right now before I blend that, see how patchy that blush has gotten after I added a little bit of powder? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really happy about that blush being so moussey, but. So you can see they give that skin that kind of glow on top of the skin 
and they look really pretty. Again, I just don't like them in her foundation. That's just my personal opinion. Well, let's talk about the Glow Bar. So this is new from Tarte. And of course, I will swatch this next to the Ambient Lighting Palette. Uh, you know, we'll see how they compare. So those are the three swatched. So I have two ambient palettes from Hourglass. This is the traditional one that I've had for a while now. As you can see, I've used it to death. This is just the original, the ambient lighting palette. It contains dim light, incandescent light, and radiant light, okay? But I also have volume two, which contains soft light, radiant light, and golden bronze light. This is a little bit darker. This is probably better for like tan, dark skin, not deep, uh, but I will swatch this next to it. Now, how I like to use the ambient palette is I like to take the hourglass brush, something just kind of fluffy, and just go over all three of them, tap off, and then kind of go around the perimeter and the cheekbones and stuff. But this shade right here is a little bit lighter than this shade in the palette, so I don't know that I'm gonna be able to do that. I might with the other two, but not that one. So that's the one from Hourglass next to the one from Tarte. So for me, I will probably dip into the bronze right here and go over the perimeter like this. So I'm gonna take the smaller brush and I'm gonna use this to kind of pat right here. I'm just kind of doing one half of the face so that we can kind of compare on that powder. What do you guys think? Do you think it made a difference on this side compared to this side? So I am going to take a brush and I'm gonna go into Sunlit. This is a very subtle type of palette. I wouldn't say it's as glowy as the Hourglass, just my opinion. Now, before I go off camera, I thought maybe I would put the this glow bar on my eyes. I want to see how it blends in the crease. I'm going to grab a little bit of this. It's pretty on the eyes. Now, I'm also wearing the Tarte Fake Awake on the lower lash line. I've been wearing that a lot recently and I love how youthful it makes my eyes look. I had a lot of you guys comment on my makeup recently saying that you're like, I don't know what you've done, but you look a little bit younger and I think it's the Fake Awake because I haven't really done anything else. And I think that Fake Awake kind of just brings some youthfulness to the eyes. I don't know, but I don't really like white, but this is a great color because it's a nude color, but it still gives you the brightness. Um, I love it though. And I think it's such a subtle difference that like most people don't know what it is, but it just makes my eyes look much more awake. So I thought about maybe putting a little bit of this on the lid just to see. Okay, so that's it for all the applications. Let's go ahead and jump into the swatches and comparisons. I'm gonna swatch all the products, and like I mentioned earlier, I will share those images with and without a flash so you guys can see the undertones on these products. And then we will come back and I will jump into my final thoughts. So I will see you guys then.
Okay, so I'm back. I do hope that those swatches and comparisons were helpful. Let's go ahead and jump into my final thoughts. I'm gonna first start with the contour product. These are great. If you guys have been curious about these, you will love these. The formula is fantastic. It blends really beautifully and I love them. I've been using them pretty much nonstop since I got them and they're great. And I would say that they are a very comparable dupe to the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. So well done, Tarte. They did a great job on these. Now, some could say that they're a little bit too similar to the contour wand, especially with the packaging and all that, which is true, it is. But it, Charlotte, she never keeps these in stock. <laughs> so I'm actually happy that Tarte did such a good job in creating something similar that blends just as easily and is beautiful and long lasting and dries and sets down and all the great things about the contour wand from Charlotte Tilbury, Tarte has definitely offered in this formula. And I know that a few of the shades are sold out and so I'm hoping they come back into stock and they stay in stock because these are hard to get from Charlotte. I like that they offer five shades instead of two that Charlotte offers. So. Well done, Tarte. I think these are great. On that note, let's talk about the new cheek and lip watercolor. Not my favorite formula. I knew right away, as soon as I saw that moussey texture, I was a little bit concerned. I don't always have the best experience with a formula that's moussey like that, especially for blush. It's kind of hit and miss. This, I would say, is better than the cream blushes from NARS. I'll put an image up here because I can't remember what they're called. It's like air matte or something like that, but they come in a little tub and I have to stick my fingernail down in there. And once you blend it out, it's a little moussey and they're really patchy. That formula is awful, not my favorite. So I would say that this formula from Tarte is better than that, but the thing that I don't like about this is that it's patchy. So as I've kind of looked in the mirror and looked off camera and stuff, my blush is a little patchy. I think sometimes when you apply it, you might have a really good application. And then when you go to do it again, you might not have the same experience. I think it's gonna be kind of an up and down situation. I don't think it's a very dependable formula. There's so many great liquid cream blushes out on the market. I would pass on these from Tarte if it was me, but you know, I will continue to play with them, continue to wear them, and I'll definitely keep you guys updated in a review update video. So far, I don't love the formula and I wish it wasn't that whipped kind of texture because man, that can be, that can go either way. It can go good and bad, so. Yeah, not my favorite. Let's talk about the Glow Light Skin Filter. You probably saw in the swatches, this formula from Tarte is a little bit shinier than the Hollywood Flawless Filter or even the Halo Glow from e.l.f. I actually really like the Halo Glow from e.l.f. It's kind of becoming one of my favorites. I like it under foundation, it looks beautiful. This, on the other hand, the undertones are quite strong, especially in these, the Illuminate and the Radiant. The Radiant has like a pinky silver undertone and the Illuminate is quite uh, warm, quite orangey in a, way, in a way. So it doesn't really look all that flattering underneath foundation in, in my opinion, or you know, on my complexion anyway. So I don't really like this formula under foundation and it's a little bit too much. It's a little bit too shimmery and it just doesn't look that appealing, especially over wrinkles and texture. And here's the thing, the Charlotte Tilbury, you get a full ounce, which is 30 milliliters. With the Tarte, you only get seven milliliters, which is 0.23 ounces. You get four times the amount of product in the Charlotte Tilbury than you do the Tarte. Halo Glow, you get 31 mils. You get just over a full ounce. So I would say that these two are more comparable than the one from Tarte. I don't see the need to pick these up because if you love the Charlotte Tilbury and you have it in your collection, you're getting a better bang for your buck. And I think it's a prettier option. Then they come in way more shades and I think it's way prettier underneath foundation. But if you were looking for a more affordable option, I would most definitely go with the e.l.f. because you get the same amount 
uh, as you do with the Charlotte Tilbury for half the cost or less than half the cost. I think they're like $15 or something like that, $14.99. So overall, I feel like the e.l.f. Halo Glow is a way better dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Falls filter than these glow lights from Tarte. That's kind of my thoughts on it. I would definitely pass on these. That's just my opinion. Okay, let's talk about the glow bar. So here's the thing. I don't mind this glow bar, but I don't think the powders are as flattering on the skin as the Hourglass. And that's just because Hourglass is really well known for their ambient powders. They get it right. The formula has been well perfected for many, many years. And that formula, the ambient formulas, are very hard to mimic. Even though I do think the powders are really pretty in here, being that I have the ambient palettes in my collection, I will definitely reach for those over this. If you're on a budget and you don't wanna buy the ambient glow palette from, from Hourglass, then this is a nice option. I would be careful about using this to set your pores and stuff like right here in this area because I kind of feel like it highlighted my pores a little bit more than I wanted it to. It's not quite as soft on pores and texture as the ambient glow powders. Kind of keep that in mind, but I do think this is really pretty. And when you when you saw in the swatches, it does have that really pretty glow. Might be one of those that would be a really pretty like blush topper to kind of give that glow to the skin. I hope it comes out in more shades. I wish I wish it had more shade options to cover a you know a wider variety of complexions. And I love the packaging. I think the packaging is very sleek. Those are my overall thoughts on all of these products from Tarte. Sam back down below. How many of you guys have bought any of the products I discussed in today's video and what has been your experience? I'm so curious to hear your thoughts. So definitely share with us in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in today's video. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you. Bye.